Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chama. I'm a content creator based in Ontario, Canada. Guys, you are welcome. If this is your first time, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, okay? You can also turn on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a video. And don't forget to give my video a, a thumbs up, okay? So have you been trying or trying consecutive times to apply um, for visiting visa to um, for um student visa to canada and you've been constantly rejected this news is for you ircc scrapped out a program um in conjunction with cimm i'm going to be opening the website and we'll go through that together so and uh, this program that they, they just realized that oh we have been there is this particular countries that have been disadvantaged for so long that when they apply they will constantly reject them let us make out this program for this particular set of countries you understand what i mean so they map up this program and you ottawa you all you know that um ottawa is the capital of canada right so you ottawa accepted this program and they are willing to um take admissions from like when you apply for admission you're willing to take this particular con, con, con from this country and you must not be a dual citizen dual citizen meaning you can't be a citizen citizen of canada but you're from africa you understand what i mean you're also a citizen of africa to apply for this meaning because i am um, um what is it called um canadian government already made plans for those who are citizens to go to school here through OSAP and all of that and loans and all that student loan. So this program is not for them. This program are for those who are citizens of their own country and not dual citizens. Understand? And in this program, you can also, in your dependents can also apply. Like you can come with your family, your children, your wife, your spouse, you know, come with your spouse, come with your... So it's a very, 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 very interesting one. And not just that, you're going to be giving... 12,500 for average student and if an excellent student you're going to be giving 17,500 yearly okay so this is this uh, this this program is for you guys so if you've been applying several times and you've been failing and failing and it's not working out i will advise you guys to try again okay so without further ado i just want to summarize everything and let's dive right into today's video okay i'm going to be leaving it in my description box do where to open it and also check it out yourself okay so let's get started <clears throat> cimm is an internal government committee that's that studies matters of immigration and citizenship in canada they have oversight over ircc and monitor the federal multiculturalism policy the ercc the cimm report was written to address the fact that why Canada is a global leader in attracting international students. Some students may be placed in disadvantageous and vulnerable situations due to the several factors that can be addressed by ERCC. <coughs> the, fa the, the report focuses on three main objectives in relation to international students. Number one is attracting international students to study in Canada. Number two, ensuring equity ensuring equity in international student program and improving which is the third one improving service and communication for international students in the the study permit and immigration process the ircc response focused on measures that can be taken and are already in place to aid these three objectives covering each individual with the aim of reducing vulnerability and aiding international students through the permit application stu study and settlement process in canada so this is a golden opportunity i'm going to be listing the countries you see the country shortly okay for those who want to relocate to canada this program is open for you guys okay let's read up Let's keep reading and then we'll see more about this. Attracting international students. The government recognized from 2022 to 2023, the number of study of study permit orders is forecasted to rise to approximately 753,000 international, international, international students while acknowledging the CIMM concern that despite the increases, application from certain countries and populations are not given adequate consideration 
by <coughs> by the department so they i um, want to give this opportunity for these countries that will be, I'll be you, we are going to be seeing together right now um the opportunity to apply because um they feel like they're being marginalized i don't know if it's the right word they have been marginalized and disadvantaged all this while and they have opportunity to reapply again if you have been applying before and have been rejected like um to come study in canada you have been rejected this is an opportunity for you to reapply again okay so this is a program for a specific country not for everybody okay in response in response ircc has committed number one explore expansion of the student direct stream sds to specific asia african and french speaking country so these are the countries that are eligible asian africans and french speaking countries the S sds is a fast track stream for obtaining a study permit for for candidates from 14 countries investigate rate of study permit refusal at large and and for francophone african students especially destined for quebec through establishing a working group between between and i'm just click of this one and all that maintain and reassess the scope of the nigerian student express Nigerian. Okay, let me read up this one. I saw Nigeria. Yes, I have to. <laughs> I have to read up. I'm from Nigeria. If, for those who do not know, so I saw my country here. Maintain and reassess the scope of the Nigerian Student Express, which is NSE stream, a study permit stream created to aid students applying from Nigeria and exploring how the best to promote the transition to permanent residence for international students, particularly those with the skilled experience and language level necessary to succeed in canada <coughs> so i'm going to be showing you the school that i opened for this which the school is in ottawa it is you ottawa so i just opened um the website now which i'm also going to be leaving in the description okay so let's read up we are proud of the diversity of our international student body that's why, starting in January 2023, English-speaking international students from Africa, Southeast Asia, and International and United States will benefit from significant reduction in the tuition fee when they choose to study in one of the eligible English language undergraduate program. These are the countries that are eligible: Asia, Southeast Asia and africa sorry africa south east south east asia and united states so i click on the drop down menu to see the eligibility for africa you can see um scholarship eligibility to be eligible for this scholarship international students must meet this condition be a citizen of one or be a citizen a citizen of a country in africa be newly admitted into 2023 winter terms or later in the in one of the eligible undergraduate programs offered in english in one of the following faculty art engineering science social science health science or the telfa school of management not enrolled in the french immersion stream have a valid study permit when starting your studies in U Ottawa and be enrolled full time. These are the eligibilities. Okay. Note Canadian citizens with dual citizenship are not eligible since they already qualify for the Canadian tuition fee. So if you have a dual, dual citizen, like you're a Canadian citizen and you're African, you are not eligible for this program, okay? Because you, um, you have been granted tuition fee already as a citizen or a permanent resident in Canada, so you can't, uh, you won't be eligible. So eligible undergraduate program, Students from a country in Africa will automatically benefit from an entrance or excellent average based renewable scholarship when they enroll in one of the eligible English language undergraduate program. So <coughs> 
these are the courses these are faculty eligible programs and non-eligible program so under art you can see all program except communication communication is non-eligible so if your department is under this you're not eligible okay so under engineering we can see civil engineering chemical engineering mechanical engineering biomedical engineering computer engineering electrical engineering multidiscipline disciplinary design experimental learning and um, those ones that are not eligible under engineering is software engineering computer science computer science and mathematics and data science okay they are not eligible food and nutrition science are eligible uh, under health um, this is under health um, science food and nutrition science are eligible human kinetics human kinetics education and coaching human kinetics recreation and sport management they are eligible those that are not eligible are integrated food sciences human kinetic um, health um science and nursing they are not eligible on the science all programs are eligible on the science okay except all other program not listed uh, are combined with the eligible disciplines so yeah you can see the program on social science economic sociology anthropology international development and globalization conflict studies and human rights public administration feminist and gender studies any joint honor program that includes these disciplines will qualify for scholarship so um this one talfa schools of management all programs are eligible except this one which are students with an average below 85 will not qualify for the entrance scholarship and for the um, become plus msc plus dual fast track degree the scholarship is not available for master's portion of the degree <coughs> okay <coughs> so an uh, international english scholarship value scholarship amount will vary based on your admission average and the faculty offering program entrance and excellent scholarship are based on the average calculated at the time of the admission which could be converted to a percentage on the ad on the university of ottawa graduating scale so all figures are in canadian dollars so these are the faculty here <coughs> excellent scholarship admission um uh, which is admission average of 90 percent uh, 90 percent or higher and this one is 89 percent or lower okay these are the money you're going to be getting if you're an excellent student and an average student you can see the rate you can see the money okay on that heart you're going to be getting seventy thousand dollars over four years, which will be split um, in four years. It will be seventeen thousand five hundred dollars a year. So if you're an average student, you get fifty thousand dollars over four years, which will be split and you get twelve thousand five hundred dollars a year. If you're an engineering student, hundred thousand dollars over one year. Which will be split in four years, you get $25,000 a year. And if you are an average student, this is for excellent student, and this is for average. For average, you're getting $80,000 over four years, which will be split in four years, and you're getting $20,000 a year. Under health science is seventy thousand splitted and you get seventeen thousand five, and this one fifty thousand and you get twelve thousand five. You see. These are for average and excellent, average and excellent, average and excellent. You can see all the faculty. I don't want to read up. I don't want this video to exceed uh, the targeted time. So let's move on to the one in South Asia. I think they are the same. They are almost the same as um, this thing. These are the countries. Be a citizen of one of the following countries. Look at the countries. Cambodia, Northern Indonesia, Malaysia, Filipino, Singapore, Thailand, the Vietnam, and all of that. You know, be a newly admitted in just read up because I don't want to just it just almost they are just similar. You get what I mean? They are similar. I don't want to start reading all over again. They are just almost the same thing, okay? 
look at it they're just this um just almost the same thing just the same okay so these are countries for asia if you want to drop that many for united states you, you drop that many for united states and also read up the ones for united states okay so that will be the end of this video so guys please hurry up and apply hurry up and apply time wait for no man okay hurry up and apply you can bring your dependent to come and work you can work unlimited hours because of the um 20 hours in, in, in a week that was lifted some months ago in canada so you can work unlimited hours okay and after a year you can apply for permanent residency so you don't need to even go back to your country if you don't want to if you want to go back is optional if you don't want to if you want to stay back it's still okay so depending on what you want if you really want to stay back um you can use a work permit to fight for permanent residency after one year this is an excellent program and yeah i wish you all the very best okay for those in asia united states and africa i wish you guys all the very best thank you guys for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.